on location at Rocky Mountain Con 2016 with Big Show Entertainment Network for Super Dave Rains and the Big Show. I am joined with uh, by the host of Big Show Cosplay Channel, the High Priestess, and we are honored to be uh, we're here with Adrian Paul. And uh, you may know him from Highlander mostly, but he's got a huge body of work. And uh, Adrian, welcome to the show. Wow, thanks for having me. So, um, you know, you've had a very, very rich career. Um, tell us what is your most proudest moment? You know, what, what accomplishment you're most proud of? Uh, well, obviously, the, the, the largest one, I guess, is Highlander, because it spanned 119 episodes and uh, six years. I recognize you more as Duncan McLeod or Adrian Paul? <laughs> uh, nowadays, it's more Adrian Paul. Back then, it was Duncan. I still right. get Duncan occasionally, but it was, you know, more Duncan back then. Now, because I've done a variety of things, I'm kind of known as Adrian. Right. Adrian Paul or Paul. Right. People get it mixed up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Can you tell us about uh, Film Blips, Inc.? Film Blips. Uh, yeah, Film Blips. Actually, I'm, I'm possibly directing uh, my first film next year. Uh, film Blips is a... Uh, we wanted to bring really good creative packages and great stories to, to um, the forefront. And um, Film Blips is a... I, I started it about five years ago. We really sort of built relationships around the world. And right. we... We're looking at films that are between two to five million. Pretty much. Wow, that's big. That's really big. Uh, we talked a little bit about your charity, but can you uh, uh, talk to us about uh, Peace Fund yep. and uh, Radical Read? Um, it's um, the Peace Fund stands for Protect, Educate, Aid Children Everywhere. I started it in 1997 after Highlander uh, right. because I had such a large following at the time. I thought, well, well, why not, you know, bring other celebrities and help inspire kids in one way or another and we started right. with an educational program which is what we're going back to now right. uh, called school makes a difference uh, which is taking yeah. different celebrities into schools and creating a classroom of kid, uh, kids go rotating through each different class that lasted you know uh, 45 minutes or so, or so. Right. and that class was created it was interactive storytelling or it, hap or it might have been peer pressure, or it was uh, arts and crafts, or martial arts, or something. So kids could find something that they were interested in and follow through with. Wow. And we did it in Denver. Which, uh, sorry, yes, we did. Uh, yes, we did one in Denver many years ago. We did it in New York, in the Bronx, um, South Central Los Angeles. We did a bunch of, and we found that they worked very, very well. The one thing I've noticed a lot is there are a lot of different organizations. And what the Peace Fund's striving to do is become the hub to bring those organizations together so that they can cross-pollinate ideas. Doesn't mean their funding is affected. It means them to figure out you as one organization and you right. as another might have exactly the same goals, right. but you're, you're coming at it in a different way, and maybe you can help you solve something that you hadn't thought about before. And right. we have done that on Peace Farm Radio and at the Peace Farm. Right, that's, that's amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, it sounds like you've built uh, one heck of a network. We, we are building one heck of a network. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, congratulations on that. Uh, let me ask you, you've had, you know, you've had a long career. We won't go into numbers because I'm up there too. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, what do you enjoy most, uh, directing, film, or television? You, you've done them all. You know, it's a different medium. I mean, the TV now has so many great scripts and great writers because the money's there. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I mean, independent movies have suffered over the years and now they're beginning to come back. But I like the fact of, as, a, as a, an actor, I like right. the fact of doing a job and walking away and doing another job rather than doing the same thing over and over and over. So, you know, the, the thing is that when you go from one to another, I, like Highlander, Highlander was a show that... Um, I, I kind of played a different character every week. Yeah. It wasn't what they call a procedural type of show where right. it's, it's the same characters solving a different problem. Right. There, it's a, we were playing, I was playing a different character going back in time. Like you and I are different as we get older through our, yeah, our lives. True. He had 400 years to do that. So at some point, I'm more, I'm more um, um, drunk. Another time, I'm more um, uh, passive more of a pacifist than another time more of a warrior now so each time his personality changed so that was fun so taking that to film you're able to create a character right. and then walk away and do another one so but there are some great 
series out there as well that you can actually get your teeth into these days more yeah. so than it was when I was doing high. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on Big Show Entertainment Network, Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show. Uh, it's been a pleasure to, to talk with you today. We look forward to seeing you again, especially when you're in the Denver area. area. And um, for the High Priestess, uh, we've got Adrian McCl uh, Adrian Paul. Adrian uh, McLeod, that's an interesting uh, I know. song, wasn't it? Uh, speaking of, does anybody ever call you? Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yes, apparently it happens all the time. Yeah, so uh, Adrian Paul, you know him as Duncan McLeod from Highlander right here on Big Show Entertainment Network. And until next time, I'm Super Dave Rains on the love.